my darlings. How are you doing? You ready for a favorites video? I'm ready for a favorites video. So let's do a fracking favorites video. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Okay. Let's do this. So it's been a hot minute and I posted a video saying that I'd be more active on here and then April went by and I wasn't. I didn't post another video. So I'm very sorry that I am just a mess but i figured what the hey let's let's do a not monthly favorites video but let's do like a springtime favorites video because time has passed and i have like things that i want to share with you guys so i'm gonna share them with you okay okay anyway um before i get started i want to know what your favorites are so send them share them with me in the comments below um, I'm going to apologize. I do have a bruise on my wrist. It's from an infusion. I had a vein blow. So, uh, that's, that, that's, that's what happened. Um, but let's get started because, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this! Ah! Okay, skincare. Skincare. Skincare is important and I'm trying to be better about my skincare. So the last couple of months I've been being better about my skincare. I have discovered a few new products. I still have some old favorites like the First Aid Beauty Ultra Hydrating Moisturizer doobly-doo um, and the Honey Mask from Pharmacy, which is amazing, and Blush's Magnum Inti Mask. I'm a big sucker for masks. But recently, I've been trying out, and by recently, the last, almost last month or so, I've been trying out the new Lancome Visionary Crescendo Peeling Night or Progressive Night Peel. It's basically a nightly peel that you do the first part for 14 days, the second part for the next 14 days, and it is amazing. Um, I'm trying it out via Influencer. They sent it to me, they sent me this, and they sent a sunscreen, and they sent a matte lip shaker. But full disclosure, I got this from Influencer. I'm trying it out. I will have my review in a couple weeks. Uh, posted on my blog at www.jks.com if you're curious uh, but if you have $75 and if you have um, skin that is problematic and has wrinkles and is very dry this is amazing like my skin is shit most of the time and this has turned my turned my turned my face around and I can get away with wearing light foundations and not having to worry about being self-conscious of Whole bunch of stuff and then in conjunction with that i have been using the tidal brightening enzyme water cream from sunday riley i ended up cashing in a few of my gift cards that i got from sephora and buying the full size but i'm not quite out of my little sample because i got two samples of this because it's so amazing this is awesome it's a cream that has hyaluronic acid in it and if you have dry 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 skin hyaluronic acid is your friend because it helps bring moisture from the air to your face to make it nice and moisturized and not crying crackly dryness and sad so this very good sunday riley makes amazing stuff and if you have beauty insider points and they go on sale or go up on the bazaar rewards bazaar snatch them up because they're expensive but they're good next we have um hydro cool firming eye gels from skin iceland they're just eye gel packs um my under eyes are very dry they also get abused because i don't sleep very well and i'm sick all the time and so I have dark circles and they can get like really gross looking and I do makeup on the internets. So I want to make my face look nice and pretty. And this helps, especially right before I do a live stream because I've been doing more live streams over on Espionage Cosmetics Facebook page. I just did one on Wednesday. It was awesome. I created a modern pan look. So if you like those sort of things, join me on there or I do live makeup streams on Instagram, or on Periscope, or even sometimes on YouTubes. Well, not live ones, but you know what I mean. But anyway, these are awesome. You can find them at Ulta. 
Uh, I also have been loving the Pharmacy Hydrating Coconut Gel Masks. If you're sensing a theme, I'm all about the hydration because, you know, we're getting out of winter and air be dry, yo. So this is really good. I also have been loving these two. These are the Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin. This is the Eye Wipes. And then this is the Face Wipes. They're the Glacial Cleansing Cloths. This one has white, or white willow bark. This is for your face. And this one has chamomile extract. This is for your eyes. They are amazing. You can also find them at Ulta. And they have good specials, like double point specials for them. So uh, check that out. I also have been loving the um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster and the Ultra HD Lip Booster. These are so good. So good. I wish that this one, this is like $42 or $45. I wish this wasn't so expensive because I use it every day. And I use it when I'm like, before I do my makeup, I use it when I'm just having a no makeup day. It helps nourish my skin. And um, I use this underneath my primers right before I do my makeup to make my skin look nice and voluptuous. And then this one is the Lip Booster. This is in clear. I have the clear version and I also have the 01, which is the pink, like lightly tinted pink. It's basically your lips, but better color. Um, I have dry lips. This helps. It's more of like an oil-based lip balm than a gloopy lip balm. It's a lip serum. It says that it's hydro plumping. I don't get the plumping part, but it's very nourishing and moisturizing and very nice. I like it. It's good. It's good. Another thing for eyes that is hydrating, um, this is the Derma E Hydrating Eye Cream. I got this at Ulta. Um, I think they're repackaging all of their stuff. So right now all of their original packaging stuff is on sale for like 25% off. So it's really good. It also has hyaluronic acid in it and it's hydrating and it feels nice and it doesn't pill up underneath my makeup, which is important. And yes, I think it is very good. I like it. I, if, if there, the, there's an overarching theme of hyaluronic acid. I loves it, my precious. But anyway, that's all the skincare stuff. Now let's talk makeup, 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 makeup. Start off, let's start with base. Let's start with primer. I have large nose pores. I have pores that are large on my nose. I have large pores around here. I have wrinkles. I have expression lines. I have an imperfect face and that's okay. I've been loving this. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. It uh, doesn't have silicone. It's uh, I'll, I'll list stuff. A link to this so you can read up on all the stuff. But it's good. It doesn't break my face out. It doesn't clog my pores. But it does help minimize my nasal pores a bit um, it's not gonna completely blur them out but it does a good job at hiding them or camouflaging them or filling them up so that you can't see them um, I like it because it's in a stick form it does kind of look like deodorant it's the same stick form as their holographic highliner in supernova which isn't really a holographic liner but I won't get started on that yeah so this is cool blur stick over top of it I like to apply the Becca first light priming filter it's it looks purple in the jar it's not really purple when you blend it out it just helps to give your skin like that glow from within it smells like citrus it applies really well it's like the the little sister or the more mature sister to the Becca backlighting primer which is this one this is more glowy, more shimmery than this one is. I think this one is more natural, more subtle, and I like it a lot more than I like this one. Another kind of shimmery glow from within primer, this is, I only have a sample size, but it is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. So it's both a primer and a moisturizer. It's from First Aid Beauty. It is glowy. It's a little bit more glowy than the First Light than this one from Becca. 
but it's still good. Um, I like to wear this on days where I'm not wearing any makeup and I can just kind of put my face somewhat, make it look like there's more going on than there is, if that makes sense. Next, let's talk concealers. I have redness. I have a Malor rash sometimes from my lupus. I have just facial redness. I have dry skin. I have skin that gets irritated easily. And so there's a lot of redness that goes on my face, even though I'm very pale. It kind of messes with when I'm trying to put foundation and concealer on. But I found that the Dermablend Professional Smooth Indulgence Redness Concealer comes in a tiny little bottle like this is really good because some green concealers they can be too green and you can't blend out the greenness but this one is beautiful blends out beautiful helps to, to disguise the redness to kind of color correct this this is good you can find this at Ulta or Sephora I don't know if Sephora is carrying Dermablend now because Dermablend's awesome if you haven't already watched one of my other favorites videos I talk about the Dermablend professional setting powder in translucent. I love this stuff. It's getting more buzz nowadays because it's that good and I think people are starting to realize that it's that good. But I've been using this for like over a year now and it is fan freaking tastic. Um, I have dry skin. I keep saying this but I have dry skin and so I tend not to set my makeup as much and so this one you can, if you have oily skin, you can go heavy handed with this. If you have dry skin, you can just use it lightly and it sets your makeup and you're just good. You're golden. But you can find this at Ulta. It's also amazing. And since we're on the track of Derma Blend, this is the Derma Blend Set and Refresh Long Lasting Makeup Spray. The sprayer is beautiful. It dispenses product wonderfully without getting like those concentrated drops on your face that some sprayers can do. I've been loving this and then I've also been loving the Kat Von D Locket Setting Mist and I don't know where mine is. So that's another favorite that I can't find but just pretend that I have it right right there. And then back to concealers since I got sidetracked. Um, the hype is real with the Tarte Shape Tapes. I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, they are amazing. Uh, for a while, I didn't buy into the hype because I'm like, oh, everybody's hyping it up, blah, 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 blah. It just, you know, they might be getting paid and blah, blah, blah. No! They're that good! Holy crap, they're so good! Um, a little goes a long way. The doe foot applicator is huge, but that's kind of the selling point on it because you can just go bloop, bloop, bloop and not have to go like a whole bunch of lines and strokes and that sort of thing. A little bit goes a long way, blends out, wears beautifully. I have noticed that the shade Light does oxidize a little bit, but Fair Neutral, which is one of the lightest shades that they have, does not oxidize. And it actually works really well. It's what I have on my under eyes right now. It has, it's what I have on my chin and kind of concealing in spots. But yeah, it's good stuff. And it's an Ulta exclusive, so you'll have to go to Ulta to find it. But it's good. Let's talk about application of the foundation because I like beauty blenders. I prefer to apply my foundation with beauty blenders unless I'm doing like a water-based foundation and then I use my IT Cosmetics buffing brush. But recently, well not recently, within the last, I don't know, four weeks or so, three or four weeks, I have fallen in love, and pardon me, mine's dirty, I used it today, um, with the Clarisonic makeup brush head doobly do. It is so freaking good. So basically it is just an attachment brush head for your Clarisonic. It fits on all Clarisonic models. You can find it at Ulta. I think it's like $35. Um, and it lasts. It's like a makeup brush so you, I mean you have to clean it. They recommend cleaning it daily. I recommend cleaning it daily too. Um, but it's amazing and makes my foundation application go on so fast. And I don't have to worry about blending issues or pressing too hard. It's just, it's so good and it doesn't use up as much product as a beauty blender would. So you save money by using less product and I love it. I used it today. My foundation looks bomb. Just saying. Um, it's kind of funky because it's attaches to your Clarisonic so 
it looks weird when you're putting it on, but oh my gosh, it's worth it. I am such a believer. <gasps> Tati Westbrook from Glam Life Guru was talking about it when, before it even released, and I was like, I need that in my life because, you know, I have issues putting on my foundation sometimes. But this one, it feels so good. It's sonic, so it, like, massages your skin as you're putting it on. So it's just, like, a nice little relaxing moment. And you can do your concealer with it. You can apply any kind of cream or liquid foundation with it. It blends it out beautifully. It's magical. I love it. Mwah. You win. You win my makeup game. Enough doting on that. Now, let's talk highlighters. Oh, you may not know, but... I like crazy highlighters. I like the duochrome highlighters. I like, especially I love green highlighters. Green highlighters in my skin are just like, they make out. It's great. For over a year now, I have been hardcore obsessed with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit, um, especially this color Lucky Clover, which I am actually about to hit pan on. Go me. But I have been loving the... Kat Von D Alchemist palette here. I'll show you. Look. Look at it. It's so pretty. Look at its shiny goodness. It's so good. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. So it has four colors. It has uh, emerald, sapphire, ultra, violet, amethyst, and opal. I love emerald. Emerald is amazing. Um, I also love sapphire. I will have a video up in the next couple of weeks reviewing this with comparison dupes swatches of all four colors because I went through my stash and kind of compared them to colors I found that were similar which is amazing because at first when I bought this I thought I didn't have dupes for two of the colors but apparently I have dupes for all of them but the formula on this is great the compactness of the palette is beautiful um, I will say that I wish the pan sizes were a little bit bigger because you're paying, I think, around $42 for this, and the pan sizes are about quarter-sized. The, the formula is really great. I think Kat Von D nailed it with the formula. Another Kat Von D thing that is new that has come out recently is the Everlasting Lip Liners. I have Lolita. I bought Lolita when Sephora um, announced their like pre-release VIB exclusive day thing where you could get this before they launched. Um, I bought this, I love this. You can use this on your eyes. I'll insert a picture here of the look that I did with it as an eyeliner. You can use it on your lips, it's great. I've got a few more colors because I cashed in some gift cards. So I will have a review on the colors that I have. I have a mix of like super bright, colorful colors, natural colors, and like black and the skin tone one because I went a little bit crazy. But hey, that's what gift cards are for. Yay, makeup! But anyway, the formula of this is amazing. It doesn't tug. It doesn't make your lips all dry and crusty. It doesn't grab when you're trying to apply it. It's very smooth. Um, I love it. It's great. It's good. Awesome. Good job, Kat Von D. Just another random favorite, Inglot Duraline. It's a staple in my kit. You should have this. Just, just, it's good. And my god, it's so good. It's so good. But anyway, Inglot Duraline, it's like 20 bucks. I've had this for eight months. I'm only halfway through it, and I use it all the time. But before I forget, another highlighter that I've been loving recently and by recently, I mean this spring. Sorry, I have wig hairs that are being crazy. Um, is the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlight in 01, which is pink gold or golden pink. Um, it is beautiful. It is shimmery. It is so pretty. It's good for like natural glow or you can build it up in the, uh, in the corners of your eyes. That's what I like to use it. I like to do like a warm eye look and then I'll put this in the corner of the eyes and I'm just like, Wah! I'm talking way too fast, but I'm really excited about it. On my lashes, I have fallen in love with Black Magic Lashes. They're an indie lash brand company. Their packaging is just like awe-inspiring. Um, I'll insert a picture 
right here of what it looks like. You can get them in like trios, you can get them in singles. Um, I'm wearing the style Mythic on my lashes right now. They're beautiful, they're luscious, they're easy to apply, the bands aren't hard, they're an indie brand, they're amazing, and yes, just yes. I suck at wearing false lashes, but these I can just pop on and go, and I don't have any problem with them. They stay on, they don't go anywhere, they don't do funky things with my eyelashes. I like it a lot. Another thing is a bronzer, and I will be the last person who raves about a bronzer because I'm pale and I tend not to wear a whole lot of bronzer, but I've been trying to kind of warm up my face a little bit and help it help me look not so sickly pale, um, even though I am ghost. Ghost is my foundation color. The new Hula Light Bronzer from Benefit comes in this. It's Their packaging is kind of annoying but you can depot it and I think I will depot it one of these days. But this is the Hula Light Bronzer. It's the light fairer sister to the traditional Hula Bronzer that is one of those cult favorite products from Benefit Cosmetics. Um, it's a little on the orangey warm side, but it works. I don't know if you can tell. On my... It's very light. It's very light. And when you're pale, you need something that's very light. Otherwise, you're going to look like an Oompa Loompa around the face. And that's not cute, unless that's what you're going for, then more to power to you. But, this is good. Lastly, I really, 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 really want to show you guys this. This is the Nerd Makeup Pressed Palette from Espionage Cosmetics. This is um, three of the four colors from the RPG palette. It is in pre-order now, so if you don't know, I am a nerd makeup ambassador for Espionage Cosmetics. I've been a nerd makeup ambassador for almost two years now, which is amazing! Uh, I'm so happy, so grateful for them. I love my nerd makeup family, but they have been discontinuing their flagship everything shadows, their loose eyeshadows. They, have, they had a bunch of them. I have a lot of them. I think they're fantastic but they're moving towards pressed eyeshadows and I cannot be more thrilled about that because while I love loose eyeshadows, these are more me friendly. I was sent a palette um, with three of the four eyeshadows in the RPG palette. They're coming out with two palettes that are available for pre-order now. They will ship around August, but there's the Calavera palette, which is Hogwarts Harry Potter wizard based, and then this one is the RPG palette. I'm missing the um, the only color that I don't have to complete the RPG palette is AOS, which is a matte orange with gold shimmer. But we have, and uh, pardon me, I've been digging all in this palette. I used it today for my entire look: brows, eyes, lips. It's all of these. These are the colors that I used, but. Um, this is DPS. It is a matte purple. It is beautiful. It is like the perfect match for my wig that I'm wearing right now, which is like a black purple. Um, you can apply it and then blend it out and it just, it blends out into like beautifulness. Next is XP. It is a teal, kind of a shimmery teal, like a, let's see, it's a satin teal with a little bit of a shimmer, like a, like a teal shimmer in it. And then this one is LOS, which is a white silver with a little bit of blue tinge to it. Um, here, I'll swatch them for you because I'm a good beauty blogger. <laughs> um, I like to apply these over a base just to make the, especially DPS, because DPS, if you apply it over a white base or a dark base, it just intensifies it that much more. But I'm going to swatch them over my bare hand for you guys. So pardon my swatches, but this is DPS. Next we have XP, which is that satin with teal shimmer color. And the teal really pops in this one. The last one that I have is LOS, which is Line of Sight. If you haven't guessed, these are all RPG or first person or like video game, board game terms. Um, and that one is beautiful. 
It's just a beautiful, shimmery, silvery white beautifulness that is fantastic and awesome and I love it. And um, if you put this over these two colors, you get kind of more of a pastel look. And so that's what I've got going on on my lid. And then the way Espionage is doing their palette pre-orders is they're kind of doing it like Kickstarter wise as far as like stretch goals. They've already got the palettes and stuff, but like when they sell a certain number of palettes, they, you can unlock or like it unlocks new and shiny things. And then the last stretch goal, um, if they sell 400 palettes, 400 each of each palette is a new color, a specific color that is only available with the pre-order. And that is, I have it, I'll show you. It is this color, it has not been named. It is a beautiful olive green with gold shimmer. I will swatch it for you if you'd like. I knew you want to swatch it, so. I'll pop it right under LOS. Let me do another swipe because I'm kind of off the kilter with this one. But it is so buttery smooth. It is a satin eyeshadow. Let me. So. And this is not under any sort of primer or anything. This is just bare skin. I love it. I love wearing that color by itself on like very low makeup days. I'll just put that on a little bit of mascara, fix my brows with some brow gel, and then head out the door. And you can apply it light for like a light greeny gold, just a barely wash of color, or you can apply it like this with your finger um, and get like a wham in your face. If you saw my uh, number one or my first episode of Chats with Chaos, that's actually what I was wearing on my lids. So, surprise! But this is only available, the green one, the green color is only available if they meet their top tiered stretch goal. So if you want to get your hands on the magicalness that is Nerd Makeup and help support a small business that is awesome, definitely go check them out. Again, the URL for that is espionagecosmetics.com slash nerdmakeup. I'll have it linked in the description bar below as well as all of the stuff I talked about because yes. Um, so yeah, that that's my makeup favorites, makeup -y favorites. All right, now we come to random favorites. Um, first, I have a nail polish clear coat. This is the Ciate London Gelology top coat. I got this in my Ipsy bag back in January, I think. I like it, it doesn't interact poorly with my nerd makeup manicure nerd manicure wraps from espionage cosmetics which is what i usually wear although i'm not wearing them today because i'm i don't know i just didn't put anything on um but it's good it makes them last great it just makes it makes nail polish last i like it it's good it's good plus the brush is great for getting the entire length of your nail width of your nail in only like two brush strokes which is awesome and important Next random thing, this is a hair product. You may be asking yourself, Jay, you don't have any hair. Why are you talking about a hair product? Um, I wear a lot of wigs, and so I try to buy stuff that is wig friendly and helps make the wigs look less wig-like. And so this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Dry Spun Finish Dry Spray. It creates instant fullness and holds airy texture. It helps give volume to my wigs. It helps kind of take away the shininess of synthetic hair wigs. Um, I love it. It's great. It's awesome. And you can find it at Sephora. And the reason why I found this is because uh, Influencer had a virtual Vox box thing. And so one of the things was you go to Sephora and you take a shelfie. And so this is my shelfie. And I won the... Vo a virtual vox box thing so i got like a little dinky thing of hair heat protectant stuff which i'm gonna give to one of my sister-in-laws because yeah um but that's cool and if you have wigs take care of your wigs um treat your wigs nicely don't go in like if you want your wigs to last treat them like they are hair like real hair 
Next random thing is Dasani drops. I've been trying to be really good about drinking more water. And so sometimes I like to enhance my water. And this one is the pink lemonade droppy things. Next, we have a phone case. This is the phone case from Spigen or Spigen, S-P-I-G-E-N. I suck at pronouncing it, but it is a very sturdy phone case. Um, it also has a little kickstand built into the case. So if I'm watching a movie or if I'm doing a live stream and want to have it in landscape mode, it does have the thingy. So I don't have to worry about propping it up or that sort of thing, which is super handy. And I love it because I can watch it like in the middle of the night when I'm laying next to my husband in our bed. And I don't have to worry about like propping it up with a pillow. I can just be like, bink, boonk and then watch Rick and Morty. Which is another favorite because I have been all about Rick and Morty. I think I've watched the entire two seasons that are on Hulu about four times over now. And I I love Rick. Rick Rick is Rick is great. Um he he makes me laugh. Uh yeah. So I may do a Rick and Morty themed makeup series possibly in the future. Um, speaking of drinks, since I talked about a drink thing before dropping, I'm, I'm random. I, there is no method to my madness, but I have been really loving, um, when I go to Sturbridge, been really loving the white tea lemonade with no sweetener is good. I meant to mention this in my makeup be part of this whole thing, but this is the Tweezerman Pro Master Eyelash Curlers. I have deep set eyes, so the curve of my lashes are not as pronounced. So instead of like normal curve of lashes being like this, my lashes curve about that much across my eye. And this is amazing. This is awesome. Uh, if you can splurge on it, splurge on it because it's great. Uh, another thing that I've been loving this this spring is the book called Geekerella. It's by Ashley Poston. I was really, 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 really fortunate enough, like super honored, super like fangirl, geek out, freak out, um, to be able to partner with Quark Books and Espionage Cosmetics. I did a full um, Geekerella themed cosplay makeup tutorial live stream thing and like Ashley joined us during the live stream. Sorry, I've got a hair on my face and it's driving me crazy. Um, but she drive she joined us for the live stream and I was like fangirling and, and super nervous. I had made the, um, one of the main characters, Darian, who plays Prince Carmendor. I made his military jacket. It's amazing. It took me like a day and a half to make, um, made it from scratch, sew sewed it all together, uh, had some lovely help from my husband, Mr. Chaos, who is amazing. That was just huge, and I will be revealing the rest of the cosplay elements, like I did Ellie's dress, and that sort of thing, or I'm in the process of finishing Ellie's dress, so that will be in a couple months, or not a couple months, in a couple weeks. Yeah, I was, I was so happy. And so big thank you to the author, Ashley Poston, for creating Geekerella, which is a fantastic, fantastic book. It centers around fandom and sci-fi universe. And if you like awesome books that are kind of young adult genre, genre, not genre, they're funny, full of fandom, humor, and that sort of thing. I definitely highly, highly, highly recommend going to your library, checking it out, or going to anywhere where books are sold and picking up a copy because it's that good and I freaking love it and I think it's awesome. Uh, another thing that's happening in May, May is Lupus Awareness Month. So if you didn't know, I have lupus. I have a rare form of a rare variant of SLE and it's a pain in the ass. The awareness ribbon color for lupus is purple and so for all of this month I am wearing purple hair, I'm incorporating purple into my makeup, I am incorporating 
um, purple into my wardrobe just to help raise awareness for lupus because lupus does not have a cure. Lupus is still um, not a whole lot of stuff is known about it and the more eyes we can get on it is better. So yeah, it's also, uh, purple is also part of the ribbon for fibromyalgia, which I also recently found out that I have, which is great. Uh, not really, but, um, so it's kind of tying those two in as well. So that's cool. Those are my favorites. You're one of my favorites. Thank you guys for like your support. And I apologize that I'm kind of a turd biscuit for not being around all the time and saying that I'm going to post more and then getting sick or not having enough spoons and then I can't post more, but I want to do more. I want to do more. I want to do more for you. I want to be better for you guys because I love you guys and your support helps get me through my day. And I just want you to know that I love you guys and thank you for all your messages and everything. Um, they really do cheer up my day, especially on the crappy days. And I apologize if I don't respond to your comments. Again, I see them all. I just sometimes don't have the energy to sit down and respond to all of them or like I get spoony brain where I think I've responded to them and then like months go by and then I don't realize it and then I look and then I'm like oh I'm such a douchebag because I didn't respond to you but I see it and I appreciate it immensely and greatly and honestly you guys are the reason why I like I, I do this so thank you like super duper thank you and yeah I'm not getting teary-eyed, you're getting teary-eyed. Shh. But for that, that is my favorites video for the spring 2017. Um, I will have my makeup details listed in the comments below. I did use this palette, well, I used, ugh, I used these three colors for my entire makeup look. Um, I will have details listed, as I said, in the description box below. If you'd like to see more from me, go ahead and check out my blog at www.jks.com or you can find me on social media at ojchaos, O-H-J-A-E-C-H-A-O-S. Um, I'm more active on Twitter and Instagram, although I do have a Facebook and a Tumblr that probably has cobwebs on it. I'm happy that you are joining me for this little adventure video thing. I apologize that it's so long, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'll see you later. Know that I think you are awesome, and I love you guys so, 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 so much. Bye. Don't forget to stay positive and be awesome. Because you, you're awesome. So freaking awesome. Okay? Okay. Hello! You've made it to the end of the video. Snaps for you! Anyway, if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me create more content for you guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can click this button. It's a round button. It looks like my face, but it's a subscribe button. You can click on it and then subscribe. If you want to see more videos, go ahead and click these two boxes. This is a, this is a random video, and then this is a makeup tutorial playlist because I like making makeup videos and stuff. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any questions as to what I mentioned in the video, I list them all in the description comments below. Okay, I love you, bye. Bye.